Welcome to Electron Line. Another real benefit of Green's theorem is that we can actually utilize it kind of in a backwards way to find the area of something that otherwise may be quite difficult to figure out in a typical way like through integration. Some integrations can be very difficult to execute and therefore Green's theorem sometimes gives us a really nice way around that. For example, we can use Green's theorem to find the area of an ellipse. In the next video, we'll show you how that actually works, but I want to show you in this video why it works in the first place. So starting with what by now should be fairly familiar is that we can take the line integral right here along a complete path, starting, ending and starting at the same point. That can then be expressed as a double integral over the region enclosed by the path that we're going to take. And of course, the integrand is going to be made up of the parcel of Q with respect to X minus the parcel of P with respect to Y. Now, what if we now let P go to zero and we set Q equals to X? What happens then? Well, then our left side of the equation, this goes to zero and we end up with an X dy. And we're going to do a line integral of x dy along whatever that path was. And that will then be equal to, and notice since p goes to zero, this term goes to zero. And since q is equal to x, we get the partial of x with respect to x times dA. Of course, this quantity here is equal to 1, which simply means that it's equal to the double integral over the area that's enclosed by the path that we take on the line integral, which is simply equal to the area of that path or the area enclosed by that path. And that means that the area can be expressed as a line integral along the complete path of x times dy. Now we do this again. Now we're going to set q equal to 0 and set p equals to negative y. So then this goes to 0 and p dx becomes negative y dx like this. That will then be equal to, and notice since now q is equal to 0, this goes to zero and we end up with a negative parcel of p respect to y. But since p is equal to a negative y, this becomes the negative of the partial respect to y of a negative y. Notice that the two negative signs cancel out. So this becomes one times dA. And again, the integral over the region enclosed by the path is simply going to be a. And so we can express the area of that region enclosed by the path of the line integral, we can express that by a negative line integral of y dx. Which means that if we add the two together, if we add this and this together, then 2a will be equal to the sum of those two, which means that 2a will be equal to the line integral over the enclosed, over the entire path, closed path, of x dy minus y dx. Or, if we divide both sides by one half, the area enclosed by the path of the line integral can be found to be one half times the complete line integral of x dy minus y dx. And quite often that is very easy to execute. In other words, realizing now that Green's theorem can be actually used in reverse by finding the area of an enclosed path, by using that enclosed path on a line integral that's defined by x dy minus y dx. It's actually quite beautiful and in the next video we'll see how nice that works on something like an ellipse. So stay tuned and see why this is such a nice discovery with Green's theorem.